Okay, so we are going to look at upgrading a Jace. So right now, uh, here's my platform. So I'm going to go ahead and make a platform connection in my Jace. It's at 192.168.1.14. So I'm going to open my platform connection. And there we go. So go to my platform administration. And you see I'm running 4.6.96.28.4 right now. So if I go to my uh, current uh, about for my workbench, it's on my machine. I'm running 4.7.110.32. You don't want to make changes inside the station with different software revisions. And you'll hear lots of different things. Some people say, oh, it doesn't matter. Some people say it does. I'm speaking from experience. I've seen people, <coughs> excuse me, I've seen people make changes with, 4.7 on a 4.6 machine, it creates dependencies on the 4.7 software. Uh, and then somebody else comes back with a 4.6 and tries to open it, and you get a corrupt database and it ends up crapping out on you. Uh, and then the backup that the guy has from 4.7, it's got dependencies on 4.7 and 4.6, so you have to go through a whole other series of steps to get it up to speed and working again or rebuild it. So what we want to do is just bring Jace up to speed. That's the easiest way. Once you revert to a new version of software, 4.7.110, you should either keep 4.6 on your machine. You know, it might go all the way back to 4.1, 4.1, 4.2, 4.3, 4.4, 4.6, 4.7. You can run different instances of Workbench on your machine to do different job sites. Or the best way is just to keep the SMAs up to date for your software maintenance agreements with Tritium on the Jace and keep the JSONs up to date. So let's say that I'm working for a company and we just went up to 47110 and now I'm out on the job site that has 46. I want to just bring JSON up to speed. My SMA is accurate, so we should be good to go. So all I'm going to do is expand my platform connection here and I'm going to go to my software manager. And you notice that it automatically tells you right at the top, out of date, out of date, out of date. So what we're going to do is go down here and say upgrade all out of date. And this will get all your modules. This is just a core software because that's all I've got installed on this Jace right now. But if there's other modules, if you have the BACnet module installed, it'll, it'll be in this list too. So any module installed on the Jace, you'll see it's out of date. And what it's referencing is the modules that are in your workbench on, this, on your host platform here. So um, I'm going to say update all out of date. And then, oh, and this one is going to require commissioning because it is a core software. So if there are certain modules in here, then you know you'll you'll see what happens. Sometimes it might just transfer it, but if it says requires commissioning, when you hit commit, we're going to go into the commissioning wizard pretty much. And there goes that one. Okay, so it didn't go in the commission wizard. All it did was install the ones that were out of date. So because we have the core software, the core modules you see here, and any a good way to tell it's a core module is anytime the Baja module matches the rest of these. The Baja, Baja module is the core one. So to get the rest of this up to date, we're going to have to commission it. So we'll go back to our uh, platform administration and we'll go through our commissioning wizard here. And it's the same process as commissioning normal. All of our other modules are up to date. So I'm going to go ahead and say sync with local time. Uh, set enable runtime profile install station. No, I don't want to install a station because we've already got a station running. Don't want to configure that. Uh, I want to up install and upgrade that. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna go ahead and set enable runtime profiles because they might be different inside the uh, revisions 4.6 to 4.7. And then I don't need to configure any additional platform users. So I'm gonna hit next, and I don't need to change any licenses. Um, don't need any runtime. We should be good there. And I'm going to hit next. And we get a list of uh, same list we had before you see it was out of date. So if I hit on this one, update all of date, out of date, it's going to give me all my core software versions. So, uh, And it'll actually do the same thing. So uh, you could have just started with the commissioning wizard. But if you only had a few modules to update, you know, maybe you get a new ASI. Uh, N4 driver module that has some updates or you get another uh, an IntelliTask driver here or something. You could do that from the original part that we did earlier in this video. So um, I'm going to upgrade these. I'm going to hit next and it's going to give me a summary. These are the core that's going to be installed, core modules. And then here's the complete summary, software to install, synchronized time. Those are the only two things we selected. 
finish and it's going to stop the applications that are running, install the files, update the time, and then uh, go through a reboot. It, does, it takes about the same time frame as if you were commissioning Jace for the first time because it is installing the core software module, so it takes just a few minutes. And we finished installing. We finished updating the time. Now it's updating the operating system. And as soon as it, it's installing the system image now, so once it finishes that, there we go. Now we're rebooting. It says the device is rebooting now, so we're going to close that. And what we'll do after it finishes rebooting is we'll just, just try to establish a platform connection and verify that our software is correct. Okay, so now our uh, Jace is rebooted back. I just double-clicked on the platform to get a connection, and I'm going to go to Platform Administration, log in. And we just want to verify 4711032, so we're good to go. And if we actually go look at our modules now, so we go to Software Manager, we should see, all right, so not installed anymore. And if we scroll all the way to the bottom to the installed modules, you'll see that everything is up to date now. So you're good to go.